Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. Happy Thursday. Thursdays are the best. Yeah, they're better than the rest. Tomorrow's that TGIF and we're getting ready to party it down. We love Fridays and Saturdays. That is Britney Spears and my favorite time of the week. Britney Spears, can I get a paw? Can I get a paw? All right! That's what's up, my brother from another mother. What's that? Is that a little smile on your face? I see that smile on your face. He's like, Daddy-o, what are we talking about today? Can you get to the topic? Yeah, we're gonna get to the topic, but first we're gonna let you guys know that we went ahead and we picked the winner for the Life Vest Giveaway. Look at that tongue. Look at that tongue hanging out of your head. So if you stay tuned, you guys are gonna find out who the winner is that won that pretty little life vest over there in the corner. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about three different things that you should never buy a Siberian Husky. And no, I'm not talking about these, or these, or these. Ooh, whoa. No, I'm talking about the products that try and trick you. Things that you should never buy your Siberian Husky that people usually recommend or tell you to buy whenever people are getting the Husky breed. There's a lot of people out there that are like, oh, you're getting a Husky? Well, in that case, you should probably get this thing, this thing, and this thing. And in most cases, people just run out to the store before they even get their Huskaroni pizza and they get those items. But today we're gonna be slamming those items down because I'm gonna be telling you guys exactly what items you don't need. Which items are not necessary whenever you're getting yourself a Husky. You don't need the snake oil, just get the good stuff. So come with us, will you, on another episode of 60 Formula where we find out three different items that Siberian Huskies just don't ever need. Are you ready, lady? Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess that means yes. Now, one of the first things that people are gonna tell you when you get yourself a Siberian Husky is, dude, the shedding is absolutely insane. You don't even know what you signed up for. Look, if you love Huskies, then hair becomes a part of your life. Just get over it. If you want that floofiness, just get used to having a little bit of fur everywhere. And you can manage it easily if you buy a good set of wonderful vacuums. <laughs> now, with all this being said, the number one thing that you never need to buy that everyone always says, oh, you should go out and buy this thing, is the fur glove. This thing is probably the worst item for Huskies in the world. And there's so many people who praise it up and down and say, this is the best thing I've ever seen. He was like, Wait, people actually say that, dude? Who who says that? Now, at first glance, you're probably thinking, I can slip it on my hand and brush my Huskaroni pizza down. But that is just not the case. These bristles on this glove are so short and little, you'll never get to the deeper layers of a Husky's undercoat with this little dinky glove. Now, yeah, it looks nice, and it probably feels good when you pet them. And a lot of people claim that if you give your Husky a bath and then wipe them down with this thing, then it gets most of the hair. It's just not true. True, it does not replace a proper brush. Now, trust me, I have given it a chance. I've used this thing like 13 quadrillion times on both the Huskies. And look, he was like, dude, I'm falling asleep because this product stinkies. Just do yourself a favor. Don't ever buy one of these if you're thinking about getting a Siberian Husky. If you already have, just go ahead, throw it away in the garbaggio because you don't need it. Do you? <laughs> That's right. Now let's move on to the numero dos item that you absolutely don't need when you get a Siberian Husky. And I hear this one a lot. Everyone's like, Yo, if I'm getting the Husky when they get older and able for me to control them, I need to get one of these so I'm gonna go out and buy one like right away and I'm gonna be master of all the Huskies in the world. And I'm like, No, stop. Numero two is going to be e-collars. Now, there are so many different e-collars out there, so many different companies that are like, hey, buy our e-collars. They'll teach your dog to never misbehave again. Oh, by the way, in case you guys were wondering, this is the impression episode. Yeah, get used to it. Now, on the channel, I do recommend if you want to teach your dog responsible e-collar training to try and get them to be an off-leash pepperoni pizza, that's completely fine. But honestly, e-collar training takes a special type of lifestyle and you need to be extremely responsible when you're practicing the training. So it is absolutely not for everyone and it's not for every 
Doggo. So if you're getting a Siberian Husky, if you're just getting a puppy, you don't need to go out and run and buy yourself an e-collar. It's not necessary. Look at Britney Spears. He's like, I absolutely advocate that you do not go out and buy an e-collar for your pepperoni pizza. I don't know why I gave you that accent, brother. I'm sorry. You're way cooler than that. He's like, yo, don't go out and buy an e-collar for your pup, brother. There you go. There you go. Can I get a paw? Can I get a paw? He's like, no. Still offended. Now the next product is going to be a bonus, bonus product. product. Something that you guys absolutely don't need and it doesn't work anyways. And I see it on the shelves everywhere and so many Husky owners buy them being like, oh dude, I'm totally gonna thwart out that hair problem in minutes. Have you guys ever been to Bed Bath & Beyond or any Target and seen one of these? They're called the Fur Wizard. The Fur Wizard. Oh great, Scott, it's a wizard that cleans up fur. Now these things are just so weird. They come with this like, this thing, you pull it out. And then it just looks like this crazy, yeah, I know, it's crazy. It looks like, I don't know, something you scrub your feet with in the shower. And you're supposed to just like do this to your couch and stuff. Yeah, and it's supposed to pick up all the hair. But no, this thing stinks. It never picks up anything and I absolutely can't stand it. And if you think that this is more effective than a standard lint roller, well, you got noodles for brains. And they're just so bad. Look, they give you a hundred other little ones just to be like, we know it's not worth it and it doesn't work, so just go ahead and take a little free one because we're sorry and we stole your money. In our opinion, the Fur Wizard does not work and you absolutely don't need to buy one if you have a Siberian Husky. They are absolutely not worth it, in my opinion, it's my opinion, and I know I'm not supposed to give my opinions. But there you go, that's a bonus one for you. Don't buy the fur wizard. Hiya! He was like, whoa, dude, holy cow. Let me know before you Jackie Chan again. And last but not least, the final thing that you do not have to buy your Siberian Husky, you never need this and so many people peddle it whenever you go into the pet store. And that's Husky clothes, dog clothes. There's no reason to have dog clothes. Look at these. Why would you ever need to put floofy little booties on those floofy little booties. Now I get it, I understand. A lot of us like to dress our doggos up in fashion, get them looking all nice and good. I'm guilty of it, you guys know I am. But you absolutely don't need clothes for your dog or your husky when you bring them home. Now unless you live in the Arctic, up in the mountains of snow, you don't really ever need to buy a vest or like a coat for your husky, especially when they're a puppy. You need to make sure that they're growing out their coat naturally. It keeps them warm. Britney Spears is like, hey, dude, I'm, I'm going to bed. But we just want to let you guys know you don't have to buy like doggles. You don't have to buy all that fashionable stuff unless you want to. Unless you have all the money in the world, baby. Then you can spend it all on your fluffy little cinnamon bun. And the next one, number 3.5, is plush toys. Never buy your Siberian Husky plush toys. Now it may look like Miss Hila's having a grand old time with them right here on the cam cam, but the fact of the matter is is that Siberian Huskies will take plush toys and rip all of the plush out of them in seconds. And it is possible for them to ingest some of that plush. So unless you plan on doing some adult supervision, it's really never recommended to buy a Siberian Husky plush toys. Now wait, maybe we were wrong. Maybe you have the nicest husky in the whole wide world and they don't typically tear the guts out. Well then if that's the case, our bizzle, but we're just saying in our opinion, in the times that we've known Huskaroni pizzas, they typically tear all the stuffing out of plush toys and it's usually a good idea not to buy them. Now today turned into like five things you should never buy your husky. So we gave you a few little bonus things. We just wanted to give you guys a list of things that you absolutely don't need to get your Siberian husky because a lot of people go out to the store, they rush and they buy these things right away and they're totally overpriced and not worth it. We want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. It's been a blast. We had fun letting you guys know which products you should stay away from, which ones don't matter, the ones that typically don't make the most amount of change in a Husky's life. If you guys had fun, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe if you want to become part of the Husky community. And we'll see you next time with another episode of Guess What? Yup. Whatever we make. Peace. Don't worry, I'm not gonna boop ya. I'm gonna boop your brother. Alright, Rue, you want to
want to announce the winner for the giveaway? Yeah, you want to tell them who won? Alright, let's go ahead and get down and tell them who won. Congratulations, Cassandra Coleman. I just typed, you won the giveaway. Now, I basically just scrolled through randomly. The comments flew by, and I just, like, had my finger on the screen. And when I looked up, whoever was underneath my finger and followed the guidelines won. So, congratulations, Cassandra Coleman. You just won some awesome safety gear for your Husqvarna pizza. Thank you to everyone who entered. We're going to have more giveaways just like this one. So, keep watching, and you might win some awesome Husky stuff.